Hi, welcome to Ag Excel video series of installation guides. Today we're going to show you how to install an Ag Excel stainless steel tube on a 1700 series planter. This one in particular is a 1720. I'm going to have Matt demonstrate the simplicity of the installation. Now this one has a XP row unit, which is the newer style, and you'll want to notice on here, um, this, there's a small rubber boot here that is tensioned down by your seed control unit. This is important because you'll have to make some adjustments in order for your stainless steel tube to fit properly. On some of the older planters, uh, they have a metal tab here which helps clamp down uh, this and keep the tension on it, keep the, the operations proper, but uh, that, that tab will need some modification. These are much easier than that metal tab. So consider this when you're considering the stainless steel tube. Go ahead and unlatch that, Matt. Now what you'll want to do is unlatch it and set your seed unit aside to make work a little bit easier. Once you've got it aside, you'll notice that that, that boot comes right out. Pops right out of it. It's a hard plastic and on here there's a small there's a small divot right there that actually goes into this threaded hole. Now that threaded hole is key. Matt's going to show you how to install that stainless steel tube right now. So what you'll do, once you install that, you're going to need a, a 3 8 by half inch bolt. You can see, I'll hold that there, Matt. You can, you're going to need a 3 8 by half inch bolt to secure that down. Once you do that, you're installed. Now the other part you'll want to consider is when you do put your, your, your uh, rubber shoe back, you're going to have to cut out an area for it to fit properly around that bolt and still keep that tension, that level tension on your seat control unit. So consider that. We're not going to be doing that because this is an hour property, but uh, we're giving you an idea that you have to cut out a square slot that, that's the size of the stainless steel tube and the bolt in order for it to fit flush and properly. The other thing you'll want to consider when this other uh, soft rubber boot lays on top of this stainless steel tube, it's going to overlap here. You can slit it just a little if you want it to wrap around. Uh, but you'll see how simple the insulation is. And once you've done that, you're pretty much done. Start doing it for every single row. Uh, the other option you have is taking quarter inch tubing and running it down so that you can have a closer dispensing to your furrow uh, as you're planting. We hope this was a help and uh, we thank you for watching this video. A little bit on some of the options you may encounter depending on your planter, your planter style. You notice here where we took off the original, uh, it's a hard plastic, they call it a plate, according to John Deere's exploded view. If you see here, you can see on here, it's, it's got the exploded view and there's a plate there and a bolt there. That bolt has a part number. Uh, it is a metric bolt from John Deere. You'll have to obtain that so that you can mount that stainless steel tube. We'll show it to you installed in just a minute. The, let's see here, the screw is 19M7785. I don't know if you can see that number, number, uh, number six. 19M, as in Michael, 785. Um, so, you can opt to buy that plate, or what some, what some installers have done is they've taken, they've actually drilled this hole out, the size of that hole, and it still works the same. But nonetheless, you'll have to make, a, make that hole bigger and get that special bolt there to, to show an enormous amount of stainless steel too. You have to tighten it down pretty good. In fact, can you get a close up shot of that installation? And then kind of take a look, get in here. It sits right down the center there. I don't know if you can see my hand on there. But, but that's the installation of this stainless steel tube made by Ag Excel.